Hello everybody, the time has finally come. My new parts have arrived. I have right here and here, I have brake rotors and brake pads from maxbrakes.com. Um, if you follow me, you'll know that I had a video out four years ago now, about a month away from being four years, where I had an unboxing and a review of a set of nickel-coated, slotted and cross-drilled max brake rotors front and back for a 2009 Volvo S60. Uh, I have since put a lot of miles on that car. I tow a boat with it, all kinds of stuff. And those things have been absolutely fantastic. Um, I live in southwest Michigan, so being able to uh, resist rust in the winters that we have, since we salt our roads in the winters, is pretty important to me. And that nickel uh, coating on there has been really good at resisting that. Um, and I'll try to remember to link in the video here uh, to that unboxing. Uh, I got a chance to do an install for the rears. Rain kind of came and I couldn't get the front on video. And a yearly update at two-year and three-year mark, and soon to be four-year mark. Um, they have been absolutely fantastic. Um, probably some of the best brake components I've ever owned, to be honest. So, that car will be going to my daughter soon, my oldest daughter. And I have a 2015 Volvo S60. Um, it's no longer the 2.5T that the old one was. This is the new 2.0-liter Drive-E version, the 2.0-liter um, with the start-stop feature. Um, and it's a great car, too. That's going to be mine when she gets the other one. And when you get off the highway on that thing at highway speeds and uh, hit the brakes to slow down pretty aggressively, you, you feel that little pulsing... Um, from those factory brakes and rotors. I don't know if they're develop developing hard spots or whatever, but I don't like it. I mean, I like it to be a smooth uh, experience. So I decided since I am in Southwest Michigan and we salt our roads to get some max brakes to go on that car also. This time, I did not use the slotted and cross drill rotors. Um, I determined, I think, that there's no real need for those on a passenger car. They look pretty cool, don't get me wrong. But um, when you mill parts off the surface of the rotor, you actually reduce the surface area of the rotor. So you actually end up having to push the brakes a little bit harder, and it's noticeable, um, than with standard flat rotors um, that have the full surface area. Um, so when I replace these, once that time comes around in another, yeah, I'll probably give them another year and just to be safe, if my daughter goes off to college, I'm just going to do a whole new brake job on it just to make sure she's good. But um, anyway, back to these. Um, I decided to get a coating on these as well for that salt. But I decided to go with a different coating this time. Um, Max Brakes has a Elite Black coating. It looks like an anodized type coating that's really sharp looking and I decided to give it a try. I've already un, uh, uh, cut the tape and everything on these to get uh, started ahead of time and save us a little time. So let's show you guys what we've got. I think you're going to like this. I know I did. So we got two sets of rotors front and rear here and I'm going to take one of the uh, for, uh, rears out right now. I'll take the other one and set it down out of our way. And we'll take a look at this one. I think you guys are going to like it. Check that out. I mean, just sitting there in the box, it looks good, doesn't it? Check that out. That is the Elite Black coating that is put on this to protect it from whatever you want to throw at it. Um, it's supposed to resist the heat, um, the uh, salt sprays, and all that kind of stuff. And it looks way cool. Um, that's going to look so good looking out from that front tire. Um, and
and I just got through painting the calipers on that car a nice blue color. I didn't want to go crazy. I didn't want the red or the yellows. It just doesn't fit the nature of the car, but I thought a blue was nice. This, that blue caliper as it mounts over this is going to look so nice, don't you think? These are the rear, the solid ones, not uh, finned. So let me set this out of the way. They're heavy. They're not as heavy as these front ones, though. These front ones are big boys. Uh, these are the 300 millimeter rotors. Set that there. See if I can get this out of the way. Good enough, we'll just push that over there. Show you what these look like. Oh, these are a lot heavier. Look at that. Look at that light shining on them. I'm blinding you, aren't I? No, I'm not. Um, nice fins, ribbing. And look at that. These are the directional or non-directional rotors. Oh, got some tape on it. Okay, I'll get that out. Um, these just look so nice, don't they? Um, they feel really substantial. They're super nice. I mean, it, this is just an incredibly awesome product. Um, now, the black coating, a lot of you are probably at this point wondering, well, when you put your brake pads on those, what happens to the coating? Don't worry. The coating actually wears away in the area where the brake pad contacts very quickly. There is a break-in procedure on these that you go through to bed the pads into the rotors and it will wear that off pretty quickly. And what's left is coated and protected from the elements. Uh, these do look like they have been fully balanced as well. I see uh, a spot there where we've had a little bit milled out of it. To, uh, and that's usually done to balance a rotor out. Very nice. So these are also look to be balanced. Very high quality. Now let's get on to the pads. And these, I like low dust pads. So I usually go with a ceramic pad. They grab on very nicely to the surface. They're uh, long lasting and they grip well, but they don't produce brake dust. One thing I absolutely hate doing is cleaning brake dust off of my rims um, because sometimes if you don't get to it right away, such as during the winter when you can't get to a car wash to, or get to the point where you can do it by hand, um, it gets coated on the rims and will actually, if you've got painted rims of any kind, can embed itself in that paint and never come out. And I really don't like that. The carbon uh, or the ceramic brakes prevent that from happening. These are even better. Take a look at that. It's carbon ceramic. Um, and if you look at the back, low noise, low dust, um, longer lifespan, and what does that last one say? Max performance. Of course, they're max. Uh, up to 35% more stopping power with exceptionally smooth braking. So we're going to find out. I've already kind of cut these open so we can take a look at them. And check this out. On the back, it shows you your procedure for wearing them in. Uh, it's pretty easy once you get, uh, you find a safe place to execute break-in procedures for your vehicle. And there's a mall that has a back parking lot area near me that would be perfect for this. So I, I know exactly where I'm gonna go. You make five moderate or aggressive stops from 40 miles per hour down to five without letting the brakes cool down or coming to a complete stop. So you basically get up to 40, hit those brakes hard, get down to five, accelerate back up, repeat, 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 repeat until you've done that five times. Then you do five moderate stops at 25 miles per hour, down to five, and you let the rotors cool down after each time. So like I've got this big parking lot, when I do this one, I will get up to 25, which isn't very fast. You can do that easily in the parking lot. I take my daughters there to practice driving. We get up to 50 with no problems. It's a pretty big parking lot. Um, 
So slow down from 25 to 5, and then make the rest of the loop, and that should help cool the brake rotors down and the brake pads, and I'll do it again, and you repeat that for five times total, and then you're good. That's all you need to do. So a very simple break-in procedure. Now, let's look at the pads. These things look so good. Look at that. Nice, beautiful material. It's actually, it looks rough, but it feels smooth to my touch. I know it's not going to be smooth to that. Nice, thick, meaty, chunky pads. Um, I mean, the backing plate is very uh, solidly built. Uh, and, but the one thing is, you'll notice that there is not in this one of those little tubes that you normally get for your um, uh, lubricant for the back. Now, I haven't verified this. I've got to go look at this, but I think I know why. Look at this piece on the back right there. That actually comes right off. See, there's your standard back. On this that's what you would normally see this there's a metal bit there and I've got some copper anti-seize lube I think what I'm going to do is put some on the back of this anyway this right here is like a rubberized coating though so your coating is already on the backing pad you don't theoretically you don't need to apply more I think these are an anti friction surface so that there should be no rubbing between these pieces but I'm going to put some anti-seize lube in there anyway. It's not going to hurt it to be there. Um, and then that's your that's your lubricant right there. You don't need anything. And I'll probably put some on the fins too, just because I like to. It doesn't hurt to do it. Um, that's super cool though. It's right on the backing plate. So let's take a look at the front pads. And you notice those are a bit chunkier. See if we can get one of these out of here. There's the one that is, yep, see those have them too. And those, man, it almost feels like felt. That is such a cool idea. This, uh, this is a heavy pad too. Look at that sucker. Nicely chamfered. You've got your lead-in surfaces. Uh, I, I, these are going to be great. You can just tell when something is a, a quality product and this is it. Um, I, I can't wait to put these on and see how they perform. I really can't. Um, this one would be, would be the one that goes on the outbound side. And this one that's stuck in the plastic here. Let's see if I can force this out. This is some strong plastic. There we go. Uh, oh, no, actually, these two right here, you notice it has these, these mount in the piston side. So these are the two outside pieces right here, uh, and these are the two inside pieces. So, see if we can get one of these out, take a quick look at that. Yeah, there we go. Nice, look at that, looks like a galvanized steel. Very nice quality. Everything about these feels so good. I mean, this is what I expect from Max Brake, though. I mean, like I said, I've used them before, and for the price, you can't beat these. I think this entire kit, if you were to get this from anything else, you've got good brakes out there like Pro Stop or Centric or something like that, but you, I don't think you can get these surfaces on there. You get surfaces like this, you have to go up to other... Uh, other brands potentially I, I don't know maybe maybe you can get stuff like this but you're gonna pay quite a bit for them this entire set was under 200 bucks way under 200 bucks and that includes shipping it's a Canadian company just across the border in Windsor uh, on uh, Ontario Canada so you know they're practically Detroit um, I mean, it's as close to U.S. made as you can get without being U.S. made. And I, I, I will definitely support that any old day. Um, so there we have it. Um, I will try to link all the other videos, like I said. And I'm going to get videos of me doing the installation of these as well. The front brakes 
are pretty standard. If you've done brakes before on this uh, 2015 Volvo S60, then the new front ones won't be anything unusual for you. The rear ones are a bit different. This car has that electronic brake. It doesn't have your handle for your parking brake uh, anymore. There's a little button that you push and you hear an electric motor um, clamp the rear brakes onto the rear rotors and then release when you need to. You actually have to take that little electric motor off and then back out the uh, clamping mechanism to put your new rotors on with the thicker pads. Um, so there is a special consideration for having to do that. It's not difficult though, and I'll walk you guys through all of that as well. But man, I, I four years ago, I was I was happy with the product that I got. It looks like they've, you know, they've upped their game here. I tell you what, this this is some seriously good stuff. I mean, that right there, that that's that's awesome, guys. So that's it for the unboxing. Super stoked about this. Probably get these things put on tomorrow if I can. It's supposed to rain, so I can't go do much of anything anyway. Might as well put some brakes on. And uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later, and um, if you've got any of these, if you've had any experience with Max Brakes, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, so far, anybody I know that's tried them has been pretty happy with them, though. See you later.